Yeah. Which is given that this is not a work. Forget about what Gandhi says and what anybody says, that you keep the society yeah. clean and everything clean. We are not going to do this, okay? Now, this is the take of uh, the, the, uh, the Mahars, which took place right from uh, Ambedkar's movement, 1930s, okay? Now, what happened with the, uh, what happened with the, the other part is that the first, they are the people who are doing the same thing, who are doing the same thing, and even corporation jobs, you find, you have a major number of monks who are employed there. But they have something in mind that we have to always go for an upward mobilization. We don't have to stop here. You don't find a Mahar who is very much uh, have an anxiety to appoint his child in the same employment. He always fi finds that no, my child should get education, should uh, study somewhere and go for some other part because Baba Sahib said, go up this part. But this yeah. is all the case with the scavengers. Scavengers, nobody wants their son to work as scavengers. Uh, but they are forced to. The no, but uh, so that is what I'm saying that uh, this will happen only when the but scavengers. The occupation of Mara, Ma Mahars hmm. in, uh, were not scavenging at all. No, they were doing the same thing. That was the work which was given by villagers to them. It's no, not the no, no, scavenging in, uh, in strict but, sense. But, but the bungees, they were left with no other work. Now, the bungees, uh, the bungees and the scavenging caste are very different from the absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out there. And also the same Ambedkar also said that caste is not. For example, in Ambedkar Gandhi debate, he also says that caste is something. Uh, even if a Brahmin can do a scavenging, but he'll never become a scavenger. So, right. so the Bangi situation is very different. And the Bangi is also, for example, uh, Mahars, let me put in an open way. Mahars at least are considered as Marathis. But even now, no literature says that Bangis are uh, Marathis. True, true, true. So that they don't even have a native certificate. Even now, many Dalits also say that even, for example, there is a L number of literature. I think nobody agrees them as uh, natives, mm -hmm. so that even to become, so that their political condition is very different. So that what I right. want to ask you is, this scavenging question, why isn't the Dalit movement has addressed it politically, even in the literature level? So that's okay. uh, I think Marathi literature do speak about it. Okay, Marathi literature do speak about the issue of. Uh, uh, I, I absolutely not immediately. I could take out of this part. Okay. No, no, because there is a. I okay. Uh, yeah. I am not aware of Marathi literature. Huh. The audience will not. Be. No, but I, I, anyway, next time I can just pass on that. You can put a clipping to it. <laughs> okay. Huh? They do. Uh, it's not uh, that. Uh, they speak about it uh, at the most, but they spoke about uh, not about scavenging, but they spoke about the plethora of the whole Dalit, when uh, what all used to do means uh, may, maybe taking away of animals and dead cattle and all those all those part uh, which came up into it. But uh, your point is very well taken that uh, the way um, manual scavenging or scavenging issues had to be taken by the Dalit moment was not addressed. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it has an allergy of this moment, uh, the, this thing. So there, there are many issues where of Dalit. Uh, thing which have not been addressed, and there are many issues which have been addressed. Means, for example, the Dalit movement is the first movement we spoke about Devdasis. Now, Devdasis are not majorly from the Mahar communities, but they spoke about Devdasis. They spoke about those issues. So, there are many issues which have been addressed, and there are many issues which uh, have not been addressed. So, uh, that uh, is definitely uh, a point. Uh, no, uh, another part of the why I was asking about scavenging is, for example, the scavengers who are dying in the manhole. That is also an atrocity. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So that, the, that kind of an atrocity is not seen in Dalit literatures. They don't see it as an atrocity by the state. So uh, therefore, we are asking that this act should be amended, uh, both the things. No, uh, he has a point that uh, the Mahas in Maharashtra don't take this issue seriously. That's, that's, that's the case. I mean, in general, yes, you can say. But uh, now, some people do respond to it. Yeah, yeah. Some people do respond So, but uh, we can have we can have a general uh, okay. We definitely know that generally this could be uh, the, the the opinion, but uh, things have been changing. I think the new generation are taking these issues more seriously uh, than other issues. Do you want support the classifying the reservation policy? See, you have to make a proper scheme for it. Means, uh, so long it goes to the deserving needy person. Reservations are the issues which have to be uh, given up. But you, you need to have a proper scheme for it. You can't have a, a from a, from a hat coming an idea and just saying that because my caste is eight person, I need eight person. What to do with those castes? Yeah. Castle? It's a <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. Right. So you have to you have to subclassify it properly. Uh, so you have to come with a proper scheme. But definitely, it has to go to people who deserve it. And I am of the rather I would say that all those who are beneficiaries should also should come out of it now because others would occupy the space. That could be much more important. You are from Mahatma. Yeah. Buddhist. Buddhist.